So how do you quickly scan for stocks in the Thinkorswim platform? In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up and find perfect stocks that match your trading strategy. Hey, how's it going? On this channel, you will learn the steps it takes to make a full-time income trading in the stock market. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And today, we're learning how to scan for stocks in Thinkorswim. So to get to the scan tab, it's gonna be at the top here by the Analyze and Market Watch tab. You're just gonna click on the scan tab and then if it doesn't automatically go to, you wanna go to the stock hacker part of it because that is where we're gonna be scanning for actual stocks. These other things can scan for actual options and then spreads and just a lot of different features that we're not gonna go into in this video. One quick thing, if you don't wanna make a scan yourself, if you go all the way to the right over here, there is this little drop down menu and you can load scans that are already here. And so this is where you will, you can save your scans and reload them. If you made personal scans, you can see here I have some scans, but there's also ones that are already made for you. So there's public ones you can see here, you can look at stocks that, you know, gapped down, gapped up. So these are different scans you can put in without having to make them yourself. So if you're looking to make something, I would look in here and see if it's already here. There are just pretty basic ones in here, but you know, sometimes a lot of people do like to look up for gap stocks or a kind of momentum trade with those. And these are definitely ones you could look at. So just to load that up, you just click it and then click scan. And then this would load stocks that have gapped up. And so looking at this, you can see that all these stocks here, just searching it by percent change. All these stocks here have gapped up in the morning and then not all of them have done amazing, but there have definitely been a few here that have done really well. One setting you wanna definitely make sure that is right is up here when it says scan, you wanna make sure you are in, if you're looking for stocks, you wanna scan all stocks. Now you can see here, you can scan a lot of different things. You can scan you know, different categories, and other preset categories that they have already for you. And you wanna make sure it's in the right category that you're scanning for, otherwise you're gonna get symbols that you don't want, or it just might not work at all. So we wanna make sure we're in all stocks, and then you can leave this blank. And then to actually make our own, I'm just gonna delete these. You have these three different kind of filters up here you can add, so you have add filters for stocks. And so this is gonna make more of a filter for the actual stock. So what this is, we can click and add it and this will be something for the actual stock. So we can look at um, one thing right here, you can scan for a certain market cap size of a stock. So if you wanna trade stocks that are only above a certain market cap or below a certain market cap, like if you wanna trade penny stocks, this is a way to search for that or you can do uh, another one I like to do is actual volume. And so this is a way you can scan for stocks that have a high amount of volume because you really don't wanna be trading stocks that are you know, trading one share a day or two shares, five shares, you know, 100. You wanna be trading stocks that are trading above a few hundred thousand shares a day because otherwise you're gonna have liquidity issues. And all that is, is that if you're trading a stock that's only trading 100 shares a day, and you buy 50 shares, you're gonna have a hard time selling those 50 shares when you want them without making the price of the stock move dramatically. And so that's an extreme example, but that's the main reason why you want there to be a lot of volume so you can sell a stock at a fair price whenever you want. You don't have to think about the fact that the stock could be bouncing around all over the place when you see when the stock has a low trading volume. Now, if you don't really know what I'm talking about, I suggest just going here and scanning four stocks that are trading at, you know, less than 100,000 shares a day. And you'll see on the chart, the stock will be bouncing all over the place. And that's definitely not what you want to be trading. So this is just a good way to try and get, you know, make sure you're trading solid stocks. Another one you could do is market cap. Now that's just another one to make sure that, you know, if you're wanting to trade the larger stocks, you can put in market cap here. You don't have to, if you're wanting to trade penny stocks or just smaller stocks, you can leave this as a smaller number. 
but here you could set it to you know i want to trade a stock that is larger than a billion and that'll weed out a lot of small stocks that you probably don't want to be trading because those things can have crazy out of the blue moves if a large fund or someone decides to dump a bunch of money in them or sell a bunch of them because they're valued so small they might move really quickly there are a ton of different options in here and i'll let you look through that on your own time now another one here we have is options you can filter for what's happening in their options now this is just a way to you know look for if something has a large implied volatility so if maybe options are super expensive and you're wanting to sell premium for those this is a good way to scan for that now the next one on this one is the ad studies and so this is definitely probably what you're going to be using the most with the stock filter this is where you will add your studies and different indicators that you use to narrow down a stock for your trading plan so if we wanted to just as a basic example let's say we just wanted to find a stock that is trading above the you know the 10 day moving average right and so what we're going to do is going to go to popular studies and then moving average scan and so this will allow us to do any type of moving average you can see it brings up this bar here and then over here where it says the type we can change it to whatever we want so we can do simple and then we'll do 10 day moving average and then here is percent above this is so this would be the last bar or the close of the last bar is at least 10 percent above the 10 day simple moving average so this would be a way to scan for stocks that are really far away from their 10 day moving average 10 percent we won't find many stocks that are that far away from their 10 day moving average just because this is a quick moving average and then over here all the way on the right you want to make sure that this is set to the time frame you want so right now it's on day and you can see that you can change it to a lot of different intervals now you can't change it to any other intervals than this these are the only intervals that you can scan for so if this is just what we were looking for we can then scan and see that this brings up a few and so it makes sense that this is bringing up a few stocks that have had a huge move today because they're going to be stocks that are very far away from their 10 day moving average because just today this stock alone has moved up 30 percent now the last kind of filter you can add is the fundamentals filter and so this will be for more fundamentals of the stock so if you're more into you know fundamentals investing or trading using fundamental numbers this is going to be where you will find all of those so you can see there are a ton of different fundamental categories in here and i haven't personally used these i trade with more technicals but if you're wanting to look for just about anything in here it looks like there's you know almost 40 or 50 in here you're definitely going to find probably what you're looking for in there so lastly to save this you can save these two watch lists so right here on above where our search results are on the right you can click save to watch list and then you can just put in you know whatever name you want right and then this save this and then over here where i have watch lists i can go to personal and then that is going to be saved in here so let's see where that is simple watch list and then that is going to be where you can see where these stocks are and then a nice thing is i can go to charts and then quickly if i link these two you can see let yours might have no links here so this little link here I can link these charts so I can click and have this to be just the same color. You want to make sure they're the same color and that'll link the charts. And then all you have to do is click on the stocks in this watch list and they will automatically go on the chart. So you don't have to be looking at this scan that we had before and then going back to the chart and typing in the symbol. If you have just this watch list over here, you can quickly look through these and then see if they are a stock that you really want to trade now last thing as well is the top right above your scan this is where you can save scans so you can save in here so this is going to actually save to the gap up i don't want to do that i just want to save this as a you know a simple scan and then that will put it in where i can load and that'll put it in my personal and so this is where i can then click simple scan and it will load that up for me 
and then I can quickly scan that again if I want to do that. So thanks for checking out this video. If you want to learn more about the Thinkorswim platform, make sure to check out this playlist on Thinkorswim right there. Now, if you want to just learn more about trading and the market in general, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below.